Welcome back to Satisfactory. I am so glad you are here. And I am here looking at this blueprint. Based off of our last build, we know there's a problem here. And the problem is, is that if you want it to be vertically stackable, you have to play the game and changing the orientation of the inputs and outputs. For example, normally when you only have one machine, um, it doesn't matter because any input will take any item and it can switch back and forth. It really doesn't matter. It's not like the left input has to be heat sinks and the right input has to be motors, right? If the left input's always motors or the right input's always motors, it doesn't matter. But when you start talking about a stack where some items are going to one machine and some items are going to another machine, that's a different problem. Because we need to make sure that the top level on this level is always packaged nitrogen gas. And then these two don't matter. Right? Well, we have the same problem on the output, and this is something we discovered during the process of our previous build. This output, which is the empty canister, I'm sorry, empty fluid tank, went to the top. And then up here, we had both on the bottom, right? We really didn't notice that both of these were connect to the bottom so we contaminated our belt or we accidentally made sushi belts which technically means it's contaminated so we're gonna adjust this upper level here to work as a perfect s where we can send things through one level then snake up to the next level send it through that level then stack the whole blueprint on top of it and then snake up into the next blueprint so that's the S. This side of it is, is correct, right? So here, this top, when it moves up to this level, becomes the bottom, right? So if you imagine without this light in the way, if we were gonna move this up three, up one level, See this, that's how you'd have to connect it. Otherwise they would block. So the top level here, once it gets, once it gets lifted up into this first lift hole becomes the bottom here. So that's why we had to switch the level here. So the bottom feeds the packager on this level, but the top feeds the packager on this level. Okay. We're just gonna have to make a slight adjustment. And I don't know if this is gonna work. As usual, I'm making a video without proving to myself that it'll work. It just seems like it should work theoretically. We've gotta alter the outputs and inputs of this level to work as a fully realized S solution. Okay, the part that we don't want to change is the bottom. So the bottom level, the merchandise that we're going afterwards, going after is on the bottom, which means up here, the merchandise needs to be on the top. And for that to work, it needs to be within two spaces of this. Ooh, this is gonna be tough. Let's see what we can do to increase our odds here. You know what would be interesting? On this side,
I could adjust this. So this always is in, assuming this fits. So this is always in the middle now. That might not help us. That actually might hurt us. But let's let's try it and see what happens. Given the typical layout, I would say, hmm, I might need to move this in its entirety. Let's give ourselves some options. If I move this way over here, and the design typically calls for a one level vertical service layer, so that's fine. Now we need to see if we can connect. We need to connect this just a tad closer than we normally would. Normally, two inputs means you would need one space. So we'd have to go here. Let's see if we can connect you that close. So the center is always the packager, which is not built yet. Let's build that. And we'll take these three away. So now I'm thinking like, connect this straight. And then, yeah. Looks like it has to, ooh, that won't work either. Well, this go, okay. So it has to be that. And then this top one has to come down here. All right, so this, this level is the level that's got us locked in basically so we're gonna have to make this bottom level fit so packagers on top on this level which means packager on bottom on this level There we go. Is that right? I don't think that's right. If I put one, two, three, one, two, three. The first one would be the last one. So the packager supply would go in this way, and then would come up, and then go in this way from the top. Okay, yeah, we're right. Sorry about that, I had a crisis of confidence there. The, the bottom item here is the top item here. The middle item is always the middle item. So the only the extreme switch. Okay. So we're all set here. Now, do we have enough room is the question to get this side to work correctly. So we're locked in due to the bottom here. So for this side to work, the packager needs to connect to the bottom. And then packager needs to connect to the top. Now, it'd be nice if it... Oh, okay. I was going to say it'd be nice if that just worked, and it did, so... That was nice. And then we'll just connect this to here. Output the gas up and around. And then we'll connect the gas here. 
let's connect the gas like this. It's a slight clip in the belt, but I'm gonna have to live with it. Okay, so now this is working. We're just gonna make sure that we check our angles. Let's see here, you... You're going out this way. You're going out this way. You're going out. Just making sure that we're all... connected in the direction that we expect. So the outputs come out this way, and then they go down, and then they go in this way. In, 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 in. Or they come out this way, and they go up, and they go in this way. So it works whether you want to supply from the top or the bottom. Though I would probably suggest that you supply everything from one direction and then take the outputs from one direction, whether you want to do it from the top or the bottom. Like you can supply all your inputs from the, the from the roof using drones, or you could supply it all from the ground level. Um, or you can have half and half as far as like all the supplies and then where you take the supplies. But I wouldn't try to like supply half one way and the other half the other way. That would make, that'd be confusing. Okay, I think this is right now. I think this will work. So this is the bottom half. When you switch it up to here, now that one's connected, that one's connected, and that one's connected. Okay, this blueprint is the perfect S-load multi input with a packager and a blender blueprint. So the next thing that we're looking to put together is um, pressure. It's one of the frames. Fuse modular frame. In this one, we need 37.5 nitrogen gas per minute. So we're just going to get in here, unpack that at 37.5 per minute. And then we'll change you to 37.5 per minute. And then we'll change you to fuse bunch of the frame, 37.5 per minute. These share, both of these are set to fully supply their blender, but they also share the responsibility. So if one gets ahead, it can help the other. And then the last thing we're gonna do So we're going to take the facade off of this. We're going to build a separate facade. I don't know why I'm choosing to torture myself in this way, but. I guess we need a little bit of wall. We wouldn't want that just to float there, would we? No, of course not.
Well, and now we've got these lights hanging out. All right, I guess we need walls there too. Okay, done. Fuse modular frame blueprint complete. Let's save that while we're thinking about it. There you go. We'll probably use this in two videos from now. We're gonna have to stop and build some computers and get them added to the drone network. I know we've got the computer complex, but that is really focused on something else. We need to make sure that we've got plenty of computers to use. So computers next, we'll probably do a computer blueprint next and then computer blueprint, computer factory, fused factory. That's probably what we're looking at. Thanks for hanging out. I do appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.